Hey, this is the story called Hucklebug. You can tell I've had this a long time. <laughs> read this to lots of kids. On a bright spring morning in a small village of Hucklebugs in someone's backyard, backyard, Barry Hucklebug was born. There was nothing different about Barry. He was ordinary and fun-loving. For months and months after Barry was born, he played with the other bugs of the village. They would play hide-and-go-seek and hucks and robbers. <laughs> hucks and robbers. <laughs> there they are. That's a Hucklebug village. Early one day, Barry was called before the mayor of the little village. Barry, he said, you are of age now and you must work as the others of the village do. Food for all must be gathered by all. Me, said an unbelieving Barry, but I don't want to. I want to stay with my friends. I want to run and play in the sunshine. Sternly, the mayor looked down at Barry and said, Everyone must work in this village, and you are no exception. Please start tomorrow morning. That is all. You may now go. There's the mayor, and there's Hucklebug. Barry Hucklebug. And he didn't want to work. Sadly, little Hucklebug walked back to his playmates, but since the mayor's news, he didn't feel like joining his friends. So Barry sat in the corner and pouted. What am I going to do? What am I going to do? He said. The mayor is picking on me because I'm small. Suddenly, an idea came to him. I'll run away and live by myself. Nobody will bother me then. With that, Barry went straight to his room. He rummaged through his butterfly wings and old bumblebee tra tails until he found his yellow bandana. Carefully, he laid it on the floor and began packing. He packed his hand-knitted antenna warmers <laughs> for cold winter mornings. He would need them today, that's for sure. He packed his favorite red t-shirt with the big bold gold B on it. And last but not least, he packed his new orange sneakers for special occasions. Then Barry tied his bandana into a big, careful knot, threw it over his shoulder, and slipped away from the village. Uh-uh-uh. There he is. See, he's collecting all his things. The farther he went, the happier Barry became. There were beautiful flowers all around him. He saw forests of silver blue grass and blue sky overhead. What do I need from the, of that old Huckle village? He laughed brightly. Out here, I can, I can, I have everything I need. And snickering, he added, there's no one to tell me what to do. Once or twice, he came upon some of his fellow bugs gathering food for the village. As soon as he saw them, he would quickly jump behind a tall weed. From there, he laughed and sneered at them for they had not thought to run away. Isn't that funny? He thinks he's so much smarter, and he's got almost no experience at things. After a time, Barry came to a rise in the path. Creeping slowly to the top, he discovered a furry caterpillar crawling along. Down below him, he saw a giant's house. Wow! exclaimed Barry. I bet it would be a lot of fun to go down there. Just then, the caterpillar turned and frowned at the runaway. If you're thinking of going down there, he grumbled, I'd think again. Laughingly, Barry twisted the caterpillar's antennas together. <laughs> then he raced his antennae, to antennae's plural, antennae together. Then he raced down the hill to the huge house below. That dumb caterpillar didn't know what he was talking about, he said. Nobody can tell me what to do. Mm -mm -mm. Sounds like people I know. Uh -uh, the caterpillar just trying to help him. He ran, jumped, and giggled into the under the lawn, and there he found the most amazing toys that he'd ever seen in his entire life. There was gigantic squirt. There were gigantic squirt guns and mammoth baseball gloves, which were large enough to live in if he wanted. He saw a beach ball that was at least a hundred miles high. Barry felt as though he had found Hucklebug Heaven. <laughs> There's Barry. Mm -mm -mm. Wonder what's coming. Barry climbed to the top of the beach ball and began bouncing up and down. He was doing flips and jumping so high he didn't notice that the door of the house was open. Some giant kids were going, coming out to play. There's the Hucklebug. There's Barry the Hucklebug. The beach ball went flying. Barry went flying. The kids were playing kickball. Barry picked himself up from the cool grass. What was that? He asked. Slowly he turned and for the first time saw the giant. Wow, they are big.
big, but maybe I can play anyway. With that, he ran over to join in their fun, but the giants didn't see him. Barry dodged from side to side. He managed to avoid being squished by shoes as big as his house in the Hucklebug village. There he is, running, trying to keep from getting stomped. Hey, kids, he shouted. Can I play too? The giants were so busy laughing and giggling that they didn't hear him. Just by chance, one of the giant boys spied Barry standing in the grass carefully. He leaned down and looked Barry right in the eye. What a funny looking bug, he said. Then he called to his friends to come and look at Barry. Now, let me tell you, Barry was a little scared. In fact, he was a lot scared. He wanted to run away, but the giants blocked his path. Ooh. wonder what's going to happen to Barry. With a mischievous grin, one of the giant boys pointed his squirt gun at Barry. Barry caught a full blast of water in his fuzzy face. He was really scared now and started to run away. Every place he turned, there was a giant trying, trying either to step on him or to catch him. Scrambling over a leaf and under a twig, Barry tearfully made his escape up the path. There he goes. Run, Barry, run! Puffing and panting, he found his way back up to the top of the hill. The old caterpillar was still trying to untie his antennae, so Barry untied them for him. You were right, Mr. Caterpillar, said Barry. I couldn't have done, gone. I shouldn't have gone down there. I'm confused and I don't know what to do. It was a mistake to run away from home. Now I'm ashamed to go back. Barry leaned against the to toadstool and began to cry large purple hucklebug tears. Can you cry like a hucklebug? <laughs> That's what he was doing. There he is, untying the antennae. Trying to turn these pages. The wise old caterpillar smiled a little smile and said, Little Hucklebug, if you have learned from your mistake, it is not a mistake, but a lesson. As you grow older, you will make other mistakes, but never be afraid to admit them. Go home now and do what needs to be done. Always remember the lesson you've learned today. Barry wiped a tear from his eyes. <laughs> then he thanked the caterpillar for his kindness, and he headed home to the Hucklebug village. What a nice caterpillar. He walked through the beautiful flowers and the forest of silver-blue grass. Entering the village, he bravely marched up to the mayor and said, Mr. Mayor, I'm really sorry for running away. I have learned from my mistake, and it is a lesson I always will always remember. I promise that I'll never run away again. The mayor patted Barry on the head and told him that he was forgiven. Since he had run away, though, he would have to work an extra day as punishment. Then the kind mayor smiled and told Barry to play for the rest of the day. Barry Hucklebug gleefully skipped away to join his friends at home. <laughs> there he is. I wonder if he had to fun with his friends. I bet he did. Let's see if there's anything else in here. Ah, mistakes are always mistakes, or so I've heard them say. But if it teaches a lesson, the mistake will go away. Well, I hope that's true. It's not always the truth. But generally, it works out that way. Well, there we go. That was Hucklebug. Hope you enjoyed it. Be back tomorrow with more. Bye.